In this exercise, we're going to take a look at how a roof is actually constructed as far as its material properties are concerned. To see that, you have a couple different ways. You can either execute the roof command off of the architecture tab up above, or just select on one of the roofs that are already there in the project. In this case, I'm selecting on the roof that's over this garage area over here on the side. And we can see that it's a basic roof, wood rafter, 8 inch. If we click on the type selector list, we can see a list of all the different roofs that are currently loaded into this project. Some of these are generic, which means they only have one material, and it's just a generic material, so it has no real material properties associated with it. Other things, such as the concrete deck, have concrete material or a steel material associated with the steel truss. The slope glazing, it has glass material associated with it. If you have a roof that's sloping and it's made out of a glass panel, that's how you create it, with the sloping glazing of the roof. But let's take a look here at the properties of this basic roof wood rafter. Just click somewhere near your drawing area and select on the Edit Type button. When you do this, you'll see the Type Properties dialog box. Click on Edit next to Structure, you'll get Edit Assembly. This has the thicknesses of each material that make up your roof. If you want to change the thickness of any of these materials, simply highlight in the box, type in the number you'd like it to be, and then click in another box, and it will make that change. I'm going to change this back to 7.5 inches, and then just click back in the box. So these roofs are constructed underneath Edit Type and the Properties, and then I'm going to click OK to this dialog box, selecting on the Edit button next to Structure to get to the Edit Assembly dialog box, which has each of the roof materials as well as the thickness of each of those materials that make up your roof.